Yo, what's going on YouTube? What's going on everybody, man? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing out there today, man? Welcome back. So we're going to be tuning into this one right here. We've got Dolly Parton. Okay, second time on the channel. Welcome back, Dolly. Going to be checking out Coat of Many Colors. All right, so Coat of Many Colors. Excited to check this one out, see what's going on. It's been a little bit since I've seen some Dolly. Uh, so still trying to learn more about her. This will be my second one. I did Jolene, so if you're new to the channel, I, I have Jolene up here if you want to check it out, find it out. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into this one. This was another highly suggested uh, song for the comment sections to check out called Coat of Many Colors. So excited to hit it up. Here we go. Back through the years I go wandering once again Back to the seasons of my youth I recall a box of rags that someone gave us how my mama put the rags to use There were rags of many colors But every piece was small And I didn't have a coat And it was away down in the fall Mama sewed the rags together So in every piece we loved She made my coat of many colors That I was so proud of Okay, cool. As she sold, she told a story from the Bible she had read About a coat of many colors Joseph wore and then she said Perhaps this coat will bring you good luck and happiness And I just couldn't wait to wear it And Mama blessed it with a kiss My coat of many colors that my mama made for me I was rich as I could be In my coat of many colors My mama made for me Rich in love, man From mama's love, baby Good, good, good So with patches on my britches And holes in both my shoes In my coat of many colors I hurried off to school Just to find the others laughing and I'm making fun of me and my coat of many colors my mama made for me and oh I couldn't understand it for I felt I was rich and I told him all the love my mama sewed in every stitch and I told him all the story mama told me why she sewed and how my coat of many colors was worth more than all their clothes But they didn't understand it And I tried to make them see That one is only poor Only if they choose to be oh, yeah. Now I know we had no money But I was rich as I could be In my coat of many colors my mama made for me. Beautiful, beautiful made train of thought. Just for me. Wow. I like that. What did she say? I think she said one is only poor if they choose to be. Um, that is such a great, great way to look at things, right? Um, and she's obviously not talking about fiat. <laughs> she's talking about your state of mind, your happiness. Uh, you're only poor if you choose to be right because happiness is a state of mind uh, Being proud of something is a state of mind positive energy is a state of mind um, So if you're miserable if you're down in the dumps uh, She's necessarily saying it isn't purely your situation It's where you are mentally and if you have the will to turn that around you can is what she's saying and I think that's strong because it's not easy to remember especially in your toughest times um but i don't think she's wrong um completely right now don't get me wrong there's some circumstances that are outside of your control and some that are just really gonna tear you down and make you miserable but it's not worth for forgetting those words okay you got to remember that kind of mentality uh and to have that fighting mindset to try to stay positive man uh, it's difficult it's difficult, but those who have done it can attest to it. And um, 
I like that. I like what she said a lot. I don't know why. It, sometimes it just I go off on these tangents where it, it makes me think of something that is completely different. But uh, let me just give you an example, right? I recently r really messed up my right ear, uh, and I've been kind of down and out about that. But I used what I tell my, my children um, is that, hey, just remember, no matter how bad we think we have it, like somebody always has it worse, okay? And you, when you keep that in mind, it really helps you to th be grateful for what you do have. Because even in your situation that you might perceive as being terrible, there's somebody else who that situation would be a godsend to them, okay? They would love to be in your shoes versus what they're experiencing um, most times in life, okay? That's not applicable to every situation, but I'm just saying sometimes like my ear, right? I'm taking something that makes me feel miserable and maybe one of the worst experiences I've had uh, outside of just a, a, a few other experiences. Like, this has been pretty bad for me, but hey, so many people would love to be in my position, okay? Uh, so it's a state of mind. I need to get my mind right and say, hey, this sucks. This is terrible. I'm very beat up about what happened, but here's the bright side of things. Let's... Let's try to stay positive, okay? Let's try to stay positive. And I like that what she said there just made me think about that. Is like, it's a, you know, uh, you're only as poor um, as you choose to be. And she's right. And that's the mentality that I'm trying to use right now in my life with happiness, right? Is you're only as poor as you choose to be. So she's got a point. So we've got Coat of Many Colors right here being released in 1971, man, for in uh, September. So we're back in 71. I like I like being like, hey, it's 71 because I see it a lot. But now we're with some country, which is cool because most times I'm saying it with rock and roll. We've got some country right here from 1971. All right. So the background of this is she composed, uh, she, Dolly Parton, composed the song in 1969 while traveling with Porter Wagner. Uh, on a tour bus. She explained in her 1994 memoir, My Life and Other Unfinished Business, because she could uh, she could find no paper as the song came to her. She wrote it on the back of a dry cleaning receipt. Oh, a dry cleaning receipt from one of Wagner's suits. Wow. When the song became a hit, Wagner had the receipt framed. That is so cool. She recorded the song in April 1971, making the title song for her Coat of Many Colors album. Uh, the song reached number four. The song tells uh, of how Parton's mother, uh, mother stitched together a coat for her daughter out of rags giving to the family. As she sewed, she told her child the biblical story of Joseph uh, and his coat of many colors. The excited child with the patches on my britches and holes in both my shoes rushed to school just to find the others laughing. And that sucked. I, it sucked to hear the laughing thing, but that's something if, you've, if you're a parent of kids, you warn from her early age is that there are some people um that are in bad situations and they carry that in their heart and they want to put that on somebody else uh and just don't let them have that effect on you they want to be able to bring you down control you don't let them do that you know and realize where it's coming from it's coming from a place of pain right when those kids are being bullies and they're being angry and they're being mean it's coming from a place of pain uh they're probably not being taken care of well at home they're probably being mistreated at home uh, so I always try to get my kids in that state of mind and help them understand. And to this day, it seems like it's helped a lot. And I love that. Uh, my kids are in fortunate situations. And I pray that that keeps going on the way it is with them and their relationships at school and whatnot. But yeah, it sucks to hear that with Dolly, but that just made me think about that is usually a pain in the butt kid is a kid who's probably being, you know, in, in a crappy situation at home as well. So always something to keep in mind. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in here today. Hopefully you enjoyed my rambling and rants uh, as it often too much happens. I'm sorry about it, but it's just part of my personality, I guess. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the descriptions down below for other ways you can help the channel, including becoming a member here on my YouTube, my Patreon, or donation request if you so choose. All right, guys, thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one, man. Peace.